Okay, now we're looking at velocity time graphs. The so top one here shows something that's moving at zero meters per second for the whole time. That means it's at rest or we can say it's stationary. So it's not moving at all, it's just at zero meters per second. The second one shows something moving at positive speed. So for example, let's say positive five meters per second for the whole time. So this means that moving at a constant positive velocity. By positive, I mean either up or towards the right, which is what we normally define as positive, while we normally define down as negative and towards the left as negative. Okay, um, this one here shows something that's actually accelerating. So at the beginning, it was moved very slow velocity, and every unit of time, the velocity increased by equal amounts. So every second, for example, increased by the same amount. So this means it's constant acceleration. So as you can see, it's speeding up all the way from zero meters per second to let's say 10 meters per second. Okay. Now, if a graph had a, a line like this, it would mean that in the same amount of time, this the top line would basically show something reaching a higher velocity in the same amount of time. So that means it's got a higher acceleration, the top line. So the gradient, the steepness of the curve shows us the acceleration. So the steeper it is, the higher the acceleration. This one on here shows that the velocity decreases with every step in time by the same amount. Um, now, okay, so that means it's constant deceleration. So it's slowing down at a constant rate. Okay, um, now keep in mind that this is actually still moving in the positive direction, so it's still moving to an up or towards the right, but it's just slowing down. For example, it might be moving at five meters per second, but then it's slowed down all the way to zero meters per second. It doesn't mean it's moving in the negative direction. If something is moving in the negative direction, it needs to be below the x-axis. So it's still moving forward, but just slowing down. This one here is more complicated because here now the gradient is changing, meaning that the acceleration is changing. So the beginning started off with really high acceleration because it's, it's very steep. And then it slowed down till it's almost uh, basically not accelerating at all. And then it's decelerating and then accelerating again. So the tangent at any point shows us its um, acceleration. It's still moving in the positive direction, but it's, it's accelerating and decelerating. Back, um, so it's a variable acceleration. So this one, you can't use SUVATs. Can't use SUVATs for this one. Okay, now what we can do is we can work out the velocity at certain uh, at different points by finding the uh, gradient. So for example, in this point here, to find the gradient, we do change in y divided by change in x, so it's 20 minus 0. So it's from here to here. That's the change in y divided by the change in x, which is 4 and 0. So that gives us 5 meters per second squared. This point, this then from this second stage, for between these two points, it's moving at 20 meters per second at every single point along that. That means it's not accelerating at all. It's actually zero acceleration, and so it's constant velocity. So it's constant velocity. And that last part here is still moving the forward direction. It's still going, you know, it's moving at plus 20 meters per second, then it's moving at plus 10 meters per second, but it's slowed down by a constant rate. So to figure out, we need the same thing, change in y divided by change in x. So the, we use um, this equation here, v minus u over t, so final speed, which is 10, minus the initial speed for that stage, which is 20 over here divided by the time it took, which is 550 minus 10. So that's actually minus 10 at the top there, divided by five, which gives us minus two meters per second squared. Now we can plot this onto a acceleration time graph, just like this, which shows how the acceleration was varying. So at the beginning it was accelerating at five meters per second, and then it wasn't accelerating at all, it was just moving at constant speed. 
and then it was decelerating at minus 2 meters per second squared.